Okay, we're back and I'm freezing. It is currently February 9, 1387. So we're almost done this playthrough. Right now, I have blister steel. So we're going to process that. Uh, I'm just going to put this in here right now. And we need to take this out. Okay, we're going to make our steel tools now. Yeah, this is going. This is fast enough. So we'll make the steel tools. And I need to replace this shovel. It is currently at 87 durability. Okay, let's light it up. So after all of this, we finally have steel. We just need to process them into tools and we're good to go. I also wanted to fill up another charcoal pit because we're going to need lots more charcoal. Also going to have to fix this up so I can get another round of steel in. So I'm not sure we'll actually need it, but still want to do that anyway. Now, I should probably mention something before we get too far into this play session. Uh, I'm going to announce that I am going to be taking a break from Vintage Story for version 1.17. Like, I have been playing so much Vintage Story in the last two years. Like, I want to take a break from it and do other games. So, it's actually a pretty appropriate time to be taking a break since 1.17 is called Dejank. Basically, they're going to be just fixing existing systems in the game, so they're not really adding anything new. So it's the perfect time for me to be taking a break. And then version 1.18, uh, they're actually going to expand on the lore of the game. So they're like doing major things with the ruins and with the story of this entire game so that's when i want to go back to playing vintage story so again it's a very appropriate time to be taking a break and give me some time to play other games and work on other projects because those of you who don't know i work on two web projects uh let's play index and esports earnings i work on a lot of like data uh, around video games so like with let's play index i'm actually tracking the view counts and video data of youtube content creators whereas esports earnings uh, i'm tracking the player earnings and tournament results from esports tournaments around the world so i gotta be working on those two projects and that's pretty much it like i just want to switch things up a bit it can't be all vintage story vintage story vintage story and the game isn't even that popular anyway, but I do want to take that break from the game for like half a year. That takes... Alright. Just so I can get other games done. Gotta diver diversify that game portfolio, you know? But that's just what I wanted to say. That's the update. Now on to this game, into this play session. I am now working steel into steel ingots. They're basically like the iron blooms, except it doesn't take that much to work them. Which means I should probably fire up all of these. Or maybe just like two. I can actually get the tools working right now. So let's turn this into... Oh right, actually I can't because I only have an iron anvil. So I'm just going to process this now. And I still need to process these copper ingots here into copper plates. You know, I probably should fire up this thing as well. And 
And while I'm at it, I am also going to repair the locks here. I need the mortar. I'm gonna wait for that to like heat up. Now I still can only build like. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I can only build tier ones, for the time being. So that's what I'm gonna do. I shouldn't need 32, but we'll see. Just inspect this thing. Probably should uh, double click this. Or right click it. It is right click, right? Uh, I'm confused. Well, I can just manually inspect it anyway, so... There's no biggie. Pop this down here. Okay, there's damaged bricks right here. Okay, everything looks good. On side here is... Let's look at the top. Oh, there we go. Build that jump. And it looks like this is good to go. So I can actually fill this up with coal now. Or charcoal. Or no, I can't. What? What? Oh, right. Fill this in. Jeez. Structure is not complete. These are fire clay bricks. What the fuck? Oh, my God. <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah, excuse me. So, I'm stupid. Those are fire clay bricks, not refractory bricks. You want Let's just go inside and work on more steel. My God. Keith. This is starting to cool down. So I made an oopsie. I made fire clay brick things. Fire clay bricks. Yeah. So that was stupid. I needed the refractory bricks. And where's the mortar? It's right there. Wait. Dry, dryad set. How did I... Get, oh, right. That's from the wood. So refractory bricks. Let me just do this. There, we can afford four of them. Oh my god, what the hell is wrong with me? Let's eat. Is this going to remain hot enough? Oh my god, so we have four refractory bricks. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Well, so we don't have the materials to actually finish this. Oh, oh my god. Two, three, four. All right, so we're going to have to fire up more refractory bricks in order to get another round of steel going. All right, blister steel. Is this this is this is too cold. Oh. All right, so let's fire this up again. So you can't work it until unless the temperature is like really hot. So I guess we'll do that. And I also fire this up as well. We still need to convert them to copper plates. This is hot enough now. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that.
Oh wait, though. This is an iron ingot. Or it's stealing it. You know what? We'll just war continue warming this up. Let it burn. Fine. Put this over here on the side and warm these up since it's still going. And we'll also just light this. So once we're done with the blister steel, we'll start working. And again, you need an iron anvil or higher in order to work steel, so that's why I'm not working anything here. What I want to do is transfer, uh, swap the things again. But I want to process all of this first, so all of these are stealing it. These are the stealing it. This is blister steel. At the very least, it does work very quickly. Alright, one more. And of course it goes out after I... that. Wait, do this one since it's... Wait. Yeah, these are steel ingots. I'm working the blister steel. I should probably check the animals as well. Do you guys have food? Like, I still get- Oh! Jeez, you're almost out of food. Alright, so... Another blister steel. To keep this going. Right, let's get some more grains for you and maybe some vegetables. Right, one more of these and then a couple things of vegetables. That'll do it. Okay, so that should do it for the steel. Oh, that's hammering out. Let's go finish this. Do as many vegetables as possible. Since I'm not really eating the vegetables. And here comes... Rains here. Well, I guess you do have a little bit of food, but I do need to top it off now. Like, there's a lot of animals here. Like, it would probably be wise to start culling them, but I really don't need the food. Like, I have plenty of food to feed them. And I already have food for myself, so it's not an issue. You know what? Here, have some vegetables. Just an extra thing of them. Alright. So that is it. Okay, so we're gonna have to heat this again simply because it has a high, like, 
temperature working. Okay. Swap these out now. Oh, come on. Go. There we go. So, we're going to start on our pickaxe. The old pickaxe head. And this should still be good enough to work. Yes. Sure. Let's do this. Also going to need another hammer soon. So I'm going to have to make some more refractory bricks in order to get that uh, extra steel thing going. There we go, steel axe head, or steel pickaxe I should say. Next will be shovel. Can I still work this? Yes, I can. Let's do some heavy hits. Oh, that's weird. It's only one voxel here this time. Okay, let's try this again. Er Usually there's two voxels here and two empty voxels here. Like, I I wasn't actually paying attention to this. Alright. So, this fills the rest of this in. There we go. Shovel. Next, we will have 157. Okay, we're going to have to light this up next. So next is the axe. Where are you, axe head? Oh, should also light these. Okay, we need to continue working these. Especially while the health hammer is still working. Oh. Wanted to do this, so it continues burning. Alright, so I was making an axe head. So it's workable at 849. Like I want to pay attention to the temperature to see when it stops being workable. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but if it does, I do want to know the temperature. Also need to eat. Right, steel axe. Is hot enough now? Nope. Well, I guess it is, but I want it hotter. Alright, let's keep this going. Or wait. Yeah, we want to work this. Okay, so I got the axe. We need a knife. And this is hot enough. Pretty under 800, so it could stop being workable at any time.
A knife. Next, let's do hammer. Since that's easy enough for you. Steel hammer. Like, all the steel for the hammer will give me is extra durability, so I don't have to constantly make more hammers. Seven fifty six still workable. There we go. Hammer, what's next? Probably should light this. Or maybe not. Let's work the loose ones first, the hotter ones first, because we might not need to do all of them. Wait, how's my chisel? Oh, iron chisel is like almost gone, so might as well make a chisel. Not sure if we actually need to be chiseling anything else, but just in case, it might as well. And then we'll light this last one. Alright, chisel. Got lots of tools now. Okay, what should we make next? Uh, how's our. Oh, shears. Uh, should we make shears or something else? Like, I see nothing else. You know what? Let's, yeah, let's make the shears, scythe, and a saw. There we go. Alright, here we go. Shears. Let's cut this out now. Shears. Oh, I should probably put these tools away now. Yeah, this steel hammer is like more than double the durability here. So, we'll put this here. And how's the saw anyway? Yeah, saw is almost done. This copper plate's almost done. And steel shears, like, I guess we'll put them here. Oh, we do have a spare saw right here. And I guess we'll put away the chisel as well. I do want to keep the steel tools, but hang on. For the focus, let's continue working on stuff. So we got shears, um, maybe a scythe. Okay, keep this going. Alright, last one.
Now keep in mind, I still want to make an arena for the temporal storms. But I still need lots more materials for that. Okay, there's a scythe. And let's do something else. The saw and the long blade. Let's do a long blade first. And then if we have time, or if we have the temperature for it, we'll do the saw. Alright, there's the last of the copper plates. So, I'm gonna replace all of my tools that I have right here with steel tools. Except maybe the prospecting pick. Or maybe if I have time, I'll do that. Uh, where are you? Sticks. I guess we will retire this stuff now. Well, not the iron shovel. I want to wear that out. Uh, we'll put this here. The metric iron pickaxe. Oh, probably should compare the stats. 2,500 durability to 1,300. Wow. And it is 8x on stone and ores and metal. This is 9x. So it's just a little bit faster, but the benefits of steel are mainly its durability. Okay, so putting other things away here. No, we'll store the steel spear or scythe. Too cold to work. All right, so let's put it in a pile here. So don't have time anymore, don't have the temp 